How we attribute the causes of others' behavior colors how we perceive and ultimately judge them. It turns out that when we try to figure out others' intentions, we have a tendency to process information in a biased way, and sometimes leads us to make mistakes. This is so common that it's called the fundamental attribution error, and it'll be the focus of this tricky topic. So what are attributions? Quite simply, they are explanations we make for causes of behavior. They're also sometimes called causal inferences. Basically, they can come in two different types. We can explain the causes of behavior based upon internal or dispositional factors, for instance, somebody's personality, or we can explain behavior using external or situational attributions. For instance, we might consider whatever life events may have been happening at the time. So let's look at an example. You're bombing along a side street on your bicycle, feeling the wind in your hair. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, some guy comes racing along and cuts you off, forces you to slam on your brakes, and you almost fall head over heels. How would you feel? Scared, probably. Angry, definitely. What's your gut instincts say about this guy? Do you explain his behavior like this? That guy's a total jerk. How did he get his license? If so, you've made a dispositional or internal attribution for his reckless behavior. Or rather, do you explain his behavior by looking at factors outside of his personality? Considering that he might have an emergency situation that requires him to drive fast and furious to help someone. If this is where your mind takes you, you've made a situational or external attribution. So why does this matter? It matters a lot because how we make attributions is a big part of what we use to make judgments. So let's look at the impact of making dispositional and situational attributions when explaining the causes of positive and negative behaviors. If someone does something positive, and we figure it's due to something internal to the person, we're probably going to like that person and think they're kind or generous. On the other hand, if someone does something negative and we attribute that to something internal to that person, we're probably not going to like that person very much at all. If someone does something positive, however, and we think the cause of this apparently kind behavior is due to the situation, we probably won't like this person very much. We'll think they did this nice thing just to get ahead or for selfish reasons. And lastly, if somebody does something negative and we figure this was caused by the situation, we might not feel so judgy toward that person. Even though we might not admire the person, we probably won't feel really negative about them. So when do we use dispositional and situational attributions? Now when it comes to our own behavior, we usually explain it in a way that makes us look good and feel better about ourselves. What if you were the person driving like a jerk? How would you explain the cause of your own negative behavior? Are you likely to use a dispositional attribution and admit you are being a jerk? Or rather, are you more likely to use a situational attribution and blame it on your circumstances? It turns out that most of the time, we use the self-serving bias when it comes to our own behavior. So if we return to this table, we're more likely to use dispositional attributions when we're explaining our own positive behavior. I donated to a charity because I'm a nice person but situational attributions for our own negative behavior. I cut that cyclist off because I had an unusual situation. So what do we do when we're explaining others' behavior? Something very different happens when we evaluate others' behavior. We have a tendency to rely on dispositional rather than situational explanations. In other words, when viewing others' behavior, we're more likely to pay attention to the actor and ignore the stage. This tendency is so strong that it's referred to as fundamental. And because it often leads us to make mistakes, it's therefore referred to as the fundamental attribution error. So our biases can influence how we evaluate others, so keep this in mind the next time you give credit or blame to someone else.